Hello guys, welcome back to Swain Studio. Today I am here to share some of my skincare serums which I am using on a day-to-day -day, uh, basis and I'm going to share my experience and how it has helped me in my skincare journey and yes coming to the ingredients what all the main ingredients are there the active ingredients as you might know you know all the brands they do mention it but yes i'm not a dermat or else any doctor to be certified telling that you know this will suit means it reacts again you know from uh, from different skin types so basically what i'm going to tell it is i'm not a skincare expertise but just that i'm just going to you know take you through my experience and journey what it has been and i'll just you know share my own experience based on uh, this products so currently i do have six serums and the first is from the l'oreal hyaluronic acid yes this is the one and yes i have been using it from quite a bit of long time uh, yes as soon as the product launched and it was in somewhat different color initially when it was launched in the market I was using this product since then and yeah the difference I can see that it just provides instant uh, hydration it provides good enough hydration to your skin when compared to you have this active ingredient in other moisturizer as well like a Neutrogena one but yes coming to the serum it absorbs quickly into the, your skin and yeah it leaves you know good uh, supple and soft skin and provides good enough hydration when you when you feel your skin is uh, dehydrated and moreover you can use it during winters and as well as on summers means my experience i do have a combination skin wherein my t-zone area gets oily and yeah that's how and in the past i have used same with same active ingredient from uh, plum uh, the Bulgarian rose I don't remember the name exactly but uh, yeah I used it once the thing is when I just apply it on my skin it leaves a kind of you know sticky feeling which I was not comfortable with it okay so moreover the thing is whichever the product or moisturizer I am using so suppose I'm going to use moisturizer whatever the moisturizer is there I prefer to go for a gel based moisturizer instead of you know cream based moisturizer okay so this is about it provides hydration and yeah again it's on your call you know before you purchase it you just go through your uh, re reviews or else you know the product ratings and all and you can you know make a buy for me compared to plum this is suitable for me means it doesn't feel that sticky and in the, no, in general they say that you know normally when you just apply so suppose these days i have inculcated habit of you know uh, toner in my skincare what difference it going to make uh, i'm not sure some people they tell that you know toner will make a difference in your skincare game but i just you know applied means as soon as i just come out you know by the time i get dressed up and all my skin becomes dry so when you just apply any product either it is a moisturizer or a serum you know you won't feel that good enough hydration yes when i just you know started using this one from you know yesterday onwards just that it provides a kind of hydration and moreover your skin is damp so that you when you just apply other products on your skin it absorbs very well means just that it provides dampness in your skin that's what i was able to make it from you know past two days i can you know moreover i can't tell more on that in the probably in the future if at all it is making any kind of differences we'll let you know on that okay so the first serum is done and yeah we'll go again with second serum which is from plum vitamin c serum yeah so this is again it provides a glow boost to your uh, face and moreover as per the product vitamin c it pro it fades away your uh, acne marks and all but yes i do use it and i can see you know it provides con on a continuous usage if at all you apply it am and pm skincare it provides a good enough glow to your skin means if at all you do not apply this you can have other supplements suppose in your food like amla it is a good enough vitamin c which provides you know good enough uh, vitamin c and it provides promotes hair growth and moreover the skin glow as well but yes coming to this serum it provides the glow and all and it is a very cost effective 
from the plum range yes i coming to vitamin c serum i didn't try any other serums apart from this one why because i was comfortable with it and what price i'm i'm paying for it and whatever the glow or else what it claims it does provide so i'm pretty happy with it okay so the third serum would be again from l'oreal again uh, this is uh, from l'oreal glycolic acid 1% and yeah coming to this packaging it is quite attractive and yeah to the product it does helps in fading out your acne marks scars i suppose uh yeah so while it launched i just you know tested with a small bottle i believe and yeah it did it did you know normally what it claimed it fades out the acne scar marks so suppose i do have you know acne marks here and there means whenever i'm just approaching my periods nearby i just tend to break out over my lip area and somewhere here and with that uh, breakout you know normally you can see this dark patches and all so i use i use this one as well as you know my gynecologist uh, ma'am has recommended few of the creams which i'm also using that one as well but yes it does you know fades your acne marks and yes again it depends i use it weekly twice in night care not in a day time yes so that's how it is yes as per the price and all yes i mostly purchase all the skin care products from either amazon or else from the company website brand website you know so that we get you know good enough so suppose it is from indian skin care brand i do prefer buying it from the website because we tend to get you know good enough good deals and moreover we can save some money on that and you get once you are done with some billing amount you get some freebies as well so recently i have purchased you know quite a bit of stuff from plum as well as from dot and key and it was almost half of the rate of the product means it, it either it would be buy to get to or else it is something that you know if at all you purchase four products four different moisturizer you will get it barely on you know half of the rate okay yeah coming to l'oreal thing uh l'oreal products i prefer from amazon website where because when you just try adding your products in the cart and you will see on a when you just you know see you know the price has gone down you can literally you know grab that thing okay so again the fourth serum what i'm currently having is plum niacinamide serum again this is a new version i mean to say the 5% one and another one it was you know the milky consistency yeah coming to this one again it claims you know it clears your blemishes and improve your skin texture it is with rice water and amino acids uh for this serum i have used you know both both version the milky one and as well as this uh 5% one uh blemishes i'm not sure but for yes i have i used in the past i used to have some open pores over here and yeah here and all that got reduced i'm not sure you know it is you know because of this or that but yes these two either this even currently i'm just you know using it instead of you know this milky one yes pore it got the pore got minimized that i can you know tell for that purpose in the past i used to have lot of open pores not that big but yes I, you can you know visibly little if at all you come near uh near to me or else there is a face to face interaction that time you can able to figure it out you know there was small small open pores and yeah after using it yes i was able to you know get rid of it even though i do have currently here and there also but it is not that visible okay so again next is fifth is uh, from plum again uh, it is again from retinol retinol serum yes as you can say you can it boosts collagen boost and it treats you know anti aging one uh, i do use it weekly once or twice probably once or twice something like that uh, yes it is a 1% retinol and yeah i use it in the night time and whenever i try to do chemical exfoliation i just try to skip it for 4 to 5 days or three to, minimum of 3 to 4 days 
uh, why because again it ca causes some kind of irritation or purging means you should not re use retinols kind of during that time i heard you know means i'm not that pro in that but yes based on my skin experience and all uh, i'm just you know sharing this one uh, the first time when i started using it uh, what i did i just you know took the product i spread it all over my face and uh, near to the eyes it didn't cause any kind of purging I, and uh, just that you know in the next morning what i have experienced is that you know my eyes uh, started watering a lot means as if you know there is something uh, went wrong or something that you know it started watering the next day and it felt you know as if i'm suffering from cold that you know it it it, it is sim it became like that so probably i might have used it you know too much of the product or what i'm not sure but after that i just you know left it for a couple of days uh, four to five days or one week like that then again i restarted it after seeing few of the reviews and all means in, st uh, in the beginning you might you know come across such kind of uh, experiences but again when i just started you know applied appropriate amount of product on to my skin and yeah it worked very well yeah so i can't tell about the anti-aging one but just that you know it didn't uh, it didn't react after that just that i make sure that when i just apply so suppose i just apply it today in the night so i'll just make sure that you know tomorrow whenever i'm just going out anywhere or indoors directly sunlight i get exposure to the sunlight i'll just make sure to apply sunscreen on it any of the active ingredients which you're using in your skincare game so probably just make sure that you know you apply sun sunscreen at any cost why because if at all you don't apply sunscreen there is you know waste of doing all these things again it will cause irritation to your skin yeah that's it for this one retinol and yeah coming to the last but not the least it is uh, from the ordinary yes i do own one of the product from the ordinary brand and it is a uh, kind of salicylic acid uh, i believe i bought it last month from nika and yeah coming to the experience and what is uh, did means did it you know normally do, does the job what it claims means normally for acne breakouts and all those stuff i just applied it cup two or three times barely and i do not have whole of acne on my face apart near the chin area and all that is due to periods again so once you are done with your periods it goes away so yeah during that time also i just applied it twice so i can't guarantee you whether does whether this you know product give you what it claims for uh, but for sure in coming days i'll just you know keep on trying and i'll let you know if whether it works or not probably the people who have a lot of acne on the faces face they might be on the right person but uh, currently say suppose i do have small acne here and here also pimple so i just apply uh, the doctor recommended one gel so that it get you know suppressed and yeah i didn't get that much uh, time to splurge on this you know whether it worked or not yeah that's how but it was quite reasonable ordinary it was somewhere around 550 so i thought of you know let's give me a try yeah meanwhile i just you know finish with my the other acne gel what i what i have from the gynecologist probably i'm just going to make sure to use this one okay it is based on my feasibility whichever time what i want to use it i just you know go through it so this is what the skincare serums you know i do own and i just tell you my skincare experience and yeah over the past years i have been using all these things and what was mine experience and all i just you know shared you again if at all you have any health issues uh, going on so suppose pcod while i was diagnosed uh, down the lane one and a half year back while during lockdown timing uh, i do used to get you know all the small small tiny bumps on my forehead and as well as the cheek area so during that time none of these products work for sure you know it will not help you out on those prob 
problems why because it is a hormonal issue something that you have to either consult a dermat or else you have to get treated the root cause from your gynecologist <coughs> sorry so yeah during that time it didn't work but just that i used to keep my skin hydrated and you know for that glow i used to use either this uh, l'oreal or else the uh, vitamin c serum so yeah one second so during my PCOD time, uh, it was something that uh, these, none of these products will work for sure for your acne. Uh, it is something that you have to work on near the root cause until and it, until and unless it gets sorted out, you it won't be able to you know figure it out. None of this you know skincare brands either from Indian skin skincare brands or else from any other international skincare brands won't help you out until the root cause has been treated. Okay. So that is how uh, these all things you know work based on if at all you do not have any clinical ba background issue PCOD and any other stuff or else you have a more of uh, pimples or else something like that you know it is your skin is more sensitive to any kind of products just make sure that when you just try all these uh, products to do a patch test as suppose you got a product today and you are going to apply it somewhere over here a little bit amount of your product new product what you what you bought and make sure that it doesn't irritate your skin until next 24 hours means you do not experience any kind of you know skin irritation rashes kind of a thing if at all you have experienced something like that it's better that not to use that product I just try to use it in that way make I just you know make sure that you know I do a patch test for sure at any case we just you know if at all it is your skin is prone to uh it is very you know sensitive and it reacts that quickly and moreover you have lot of acne breakouts growing on none of the products are you know working out please do not use any any of these active ingredients products go and straightforward approach a dermat wherein they can guide you properly with a good medical knowledge what i have experienced prior getting diagnosed with PCOD and after you know PCOD so I'm just you know sharing my experience just you know spending so much of money into these products and moreover you the cause is something different which needs to be dif uh, treated differently so it's better that you know consult, consult a medical professional person dermat so that he can you know guide you properly until your the problem is resolved the root cause has been treated okay yeah this is how what my skincare uh, sk serums is all about and yeah please let me know and yeah let me know if i missed anything or else i did uh i mean to say uh, means uh i missed out something and you want me to tell or else you can add some points wherein even it will be you know informative for me as an uh, i told i'm not a dermat or certified profession where I can tell you these are the ingredients blah 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 kind of things all these things just based on my experience and when I just being an Indian buyer what we tend to do when we just we buy a product we tend to see the product what are the ingredients what the root cause it going to address the issue and moreover what are the reviews how it is acting and all all those stuffs what we just do you know this kind of research before buying a product so that is how we make a purchase right so this is how on based on these things i just you know buy my products and yes moreover thing i just you know try i love you know explore exploring new skincare products so hope you like this video okay see you then soon bye bye